Our film starts with Aaron packing food, drinks, and all the equipment he will need for mountain biking. He ignores calls and messages from anyone trying to reach him. After that, he gets into his car and drives off. We notice he has a camera to document everything that happens to him. He mentions that today is April 25th, 2003, and he's excited about his trip. When he arrives, he sleeps in his car. The next morning, he rides his bike, covering long distances, into the desert to reach Blue John Canyon. He turns on his camera and challenges himself to get there in 45 minutes instead of four and a half hours. However, he falls and records the moment, filming himself. Then he gets up and continues riding. On his way, he meets two girls named Christy and Megan. He introduces himself and offers to guide them to the dome, and they agree. As they walk, Aaron explains the sights they encounter and leads them on a better path than the one they were on. They walk through a very narrow passage between rocks and start climbing. Suddenly, Aaron pretends to fall while climbing. The girls decide to jump down after him and they keep jumping multiple times. This is the Blue John Canyon. Afterward, they continue walking among the mountains and rocks taking pictures together before parting ways. They invite him to a party the next day and he agrees. Megan understands that Christy is interested in him and wants to see him again. We cut to Aaron, who tries to head back, walking through the narrow canyons. He has to descend from a high area while leaning on the rocks. Suddenly, a rock falls on his arm, and Aaron is in pain. His arm gets trapped, and he can't move it, not knowing what to do. He tries in every way to move the rock, but it doesn't budge. He has just one water bottle, so he drinks from it carefully. Then he takes off his watch and places it in front of him to see how long he'll be stuck there. He calls out for Megan and Christy, hoping they might save him, but no one hears him. He starts taking everything out of his backpack, including a pocket knife. He uses it to try and break the rock, but he fails and it falls out of his hand. After several attempts, he manages to retrieve it from the ground with a stick that was nearby. Hours pass with Aaron in the same position, drinking his water even more sparingly, growing increasingly tired. He ties a rope to the rock above him to try to sleep, dreaming of escaping, but waking up frequently. When the sun rises, he places his hand and foot in its light to warm up, recalling the warmth he felt with his father, who used to take him to the canyons when he was young. Aaron then turns on the camera and, feeling sad, explains that He's been stuck between the rocks in Blue John Canyon for an entire day. He asks anyone who finds the camera to give it to his family. He films his arm, which has turned blue and gray from the trapped blood, realizing he might never move it again. Suddenly, he senses movement from above and calls out, but no one responds. Watching himself on the camera pleading for help makes him feel pitiful about his situation, so he tries to calm himself. Night falls, and it gets cold. He wraps himself in the rope for warmth, places his backpack over his head, and tries to sleep, remembering he still has some food. He takes it out and eats. He hallucinates, imagining himself at Megan and Christie's party, feeling happy there. When he wakes up, he removes his contact lenses and keeps them in his mouth to maintain a hydrated mouth, recalling putting them on before heading to Blue John. He regrets not answering his mother's call and feels sorry for it now. He remembers when his boss asked where he was traveling this time, but he didn't answer, and now he wishes he had told someone his location. He sleeps and wakes up due to the insects crawling on him. He tries to pull the rock with the rope but fails. He thinks about the food and drinks in his car, desperately craving something to drink. Then he turns on the camera and explains that he's been trying to move the rock for a long time, but hasn't been able to. He explains that the rock is so still on his arm that it needs men and pulling tools to move it, and he doesn't have much water left, just enough to last until tomorrow. Aaron tries to cut his arm off after losing hope that the rock will move. He uses the pocket knife he had, but it isn't sharp enough and doesn't do anything to his arm. He remembers his childhood memories with his family. 
Suddenly, the water bottle slips from his hand and spills, which makes him very upset and he thinks of his ex-girlfriend. Suddenly, it starts raining heavily and he's overjoyed drinking the rainwater and refilling his bottle. The rainwater moves a rock enough for Aaron to free his arm before he drowns. He quickly climbs out, gets into his car and goes to his ex-girlfriend. But she doesn't understand him and shuts the door in his face. We then realize that all of this was a dream and he is still trapped between the rocks. He turns on the camera and records himself as if he's on a TV interview, talking to his mom and dad, wishing he had told his mom where he was going. He jokes around in an interview before ending it. He then drops the last drop of water from his bottle and his heart starts to hurt. He decides to try cutting his arm again but fails. He begins to hallucinate hearing things that aren't there. He then remembers the time he left his girlfriend, family and sister. The camera shuts off. Suddenly, some animals pass over the canyon where Aaron is trapped, causing him to faint. When he regains consciousness, he sees himself as a child, wandering around the canyon watching his family for the last time. Aaron is deeply touched, so he decides to amputate his arm. First, he breaks it, stabs it with the knife he had and starts cutting. He suffers the most when he starts cutting nerves. He struggles the most to maintain consciousness. He loses a lot of blood, but manages to stay conscious. When he finally cuts off his arm, he starts bandaging his arm with a rope and covering it with bags. He quickly moves and escapes the place he was trapped. He then goes down to a lake, drinks from it, fills his water bottle, keeps drinking, and washes himself. On his way back, he sees a family on an expedition and calls out to them, barely able to speak. They quickly run to him and give him water. They get help and a helicopter arrives to rescue Aaron. After Aaron returns to his life, he has many interviews. Three years later, he gets married, has children, and continues to climb mountains and canyons, always leaving a note about where he is. And that's it. If you like this recap, hit like, share, and subscribe to our channel to keep seeing content like this one. If you have any requests or thoughts, drop them below in the comment section, and we will see you at the next one. Peace out.